people are, are attracted to this fish. It's a, probably number one is because it's a large fish. It's a big animal and people like seeing these big animals, these big fish. They don't get to see them very often, at least not swimming around. You can see them during the harvest season in February, but those are harvested fish. These are live animals, big animals, and they're also prehistoric looking. They don't look like other fish that we have in the state. They have bony plates along their sides and they have a shark-like appearance and they have a, the mouth is underneath the front. It's not on the end of the face like normal fish. It's underneath and they, they have this big long vacuum type mouth that comes out to suck bugs and other things off the bottom. And most people are aware that it is a very old fish as far as uh, it's, it's uh, the actual age of the individual fish. Some of these fish can live to 150 years or more, and so that's quite unique. And also that it is prehistoric. Uh, these fish were here when the dinosaurs were here, and something killed the dinosaurs, but these things survived, and they've persisted to this day. Oh, right it's very important that we answer two questions every year. How many sturgeon do we have in the system, and how many can we safely remove? And the, also the fact that the sturgeon are very susceptible to getting your hands on them when they're spawning gives us the opportunity to capture them quite readily in large numbers and tag them. And then we watch for those tag returns in the harvest next winter, and that tells us exactly how, what percentage of the population has been harvested. And the guard program, funded by Sturgeon from Marls, provides volunteers that sit in, on every sturgeon spawning site, babysit 24 hours a day and guard these fish throughout the entire spawning run, which could last on the average about seven days, but up to two weeks in some years. And uh, that's been a very important component of the success we're enjoying right now with the high levels that we have in the population. All day long you see these people, they come and they go, and it's, you see cars from Iowa, from Illinois, from Nebraska. So I mean, it draws people not only from the, from the Wisconsin, but from the Midwest and actually all over the country to see this, because this is the only place it happens, <laughs> which is neat. We want to keep it that way. Some people say they're awful homely, awful bad looking, but, but to me, doing this for so many years, they're beautiful fish. It's like a beautiful blonde.